And here it is guys, this is what we're working with. A horrible, horrible paint job. Now, as you can see, they tried to do a burning here. This is how the rest of it should look, but this is how it looks. I don't know if there was clear coat here or it's just paint. And then they just left a hard line here. The whole thing is modeled, dry. And you can see here where they have some body filler in here and it's starting to crack. So what I have to do is I have to remove all their body filler and see what's going on. I need to know what they have been doing here in this area. I sanded out most of it here and all I can see is like a nice size den. That was scary. As I started to send this, I was hoping and praying there's no holes in here or no bad welding job. But it turns out that it's just some really bad body work. They didn't bring up the metal high enough, so they just piled on the bundle. And it's not even that bad, all right? So we're gonna have to grind this all out so we can use the stud welder on there. And for the rest of the panel, you want to sand it down back to the original or you can use paint stripper and strip the whole thing but you really don't have to because the paint is not reacting as far as i can see here so you just want to sand it out all this layer that they put on there the new layer you want to get rid of it Now guys, down here we have an applique. It's like a protector um, film for rock chips and stuff like that. And they painted over it. So what you're gonna wanna use is a, a rubber wheel to get that off there. If you try to sand it, you're gonna have a lot of problems. Let's move on guys so this is what we're working with we got the bundle removed and we have to remove the paint before we use a sud welder but this is how the panels look after we sanded it all down back to the original paint because you don't want to go working over that paint because you might have some reaction so once you remove the paint from the area you can use the stud welder otherwise it won't stick use your slide hammer get that dent up a little bit now it's definitely time for me to get a, a new dent pulling tool that's just super old school so you grind off the stud welders you use your hammer to get all those high spots down a little bit you want to always pull up higher than you need to and then you can go ahead and apply your body filler if you want to see more details on body filling work just check out the previous video that i uploaded about two weeks ago and you can get more depth from it. So apply the body filler, looking good. We found a few more dents. We got them fixed and applied some bondu. Now I'm gonna let that dry and get it all sanded down.
now we're making good progress guys we got the car prepped and clean and masked and clean again and then got some sealer on it a little bit out into the front door because it's a blend and we're painting this door off the car and we want to make sure we have a consistent flow of the same sealer same color just to make sure that this matches properly we have to make sure we have to make sure we get the same amount of coats on there just to make sure that the color matches guys when you're doing stuff like this you don't want to do it tomorrow you don't want to do it um, a couple hours later because you want that consistency remember the parts is not on the car so if the part is not on the car there's a good chance that if you mess something up with your consistency you'll have a mismatch let's lay down some paint Alright guys, after three coats of paint, I noticed a little modeling, so I'm using my sun gun to check for coverage and modeling, and I did not like how the front door blend looked, so I got the sun gun and I blended out some more paint, different direction, crisscross, trying to hide that blend to make it fade away. This one was a really tough one because this has some really big metallics. I should have used it the 1.3 tip instead of the 1.2. I think that's where I went wrong and it got a little bit rough on me. So I, I had to spend a little extra time to fix it, but I eventually got it to look good. And then it's time to lay down the clear coat using the Sagola. Uh, this is a 1.2 XL PSI to range from 24 to 30. And there you have it mates, a horrible paint job back to factory settings. This one was quite challenging but I was able to get it done. Now if you guys can see my blend on that front door, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I know you guys learned a lot watching the Mario's paint class so make sure you don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment and share. 
class dismissed.